So we're going to make 20 foundation chain stitches. So we start by making a slip knot. And we chain two. Then we go into the first chain here and we yarn over and pull a loop up. So now we have two loops on our hook. We yarn over, pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through both remaining loops. So that's one stitch. We're going to do this uh, 19 more times so we have a total of 20. We will be if, if you notice, you're going to see this loop, that loop, and this one. We're, we will be working in this loop here. So we keep this loop on here, and then we insert the hook just through this one. Yarn over and pull through. So this is two stitches. I'm going to adjust the cameras a little bit closer so we can see it. So let's see how many we have so far. So this first loop we don't count because that's the knot to start the slip knot. So we start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Grab the wrong loop there. Let's try that again. Thirteen. Okay, so let's count this and see if this is correct. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Perfect. So, now we will turn it this way, and we will proceed to chain three. One, two, three. Then we will turn it again, and we will make double crochets 
all the way across. This initial chain three will count as your first uh, double crochet, so you will not make any stitch in this particular um, uh, area. You will go into this one here. So we would start there. So we're going to yarn over and then insert our hook and make a double crochet there. So this counts as that stitch. going to turn this back so you can better see what I'm doing. So this should be 20 double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So now you will notice that there are you have your front post, your back post, and then you have the actual post of the, um, I'm sorry, I misspoke. The anatomy of your double crochet is your front loop, your back loop, and then this is your post. If you uh, do a stitch that's in front of it, then that's a front post, and if you do a stitch that's behind it, then that's called a back post. And that's what we will be doing is front post and back post double crochets. That's how we create the basket weave. So let's chain three, turn our work, and we will start on the post. We will do three front posts. So yarn over, go behind the post. So that's one, two, and let me show you what it looks like. So this is me going behind the post, and then that's what it looks like on the other side. So these are called front post double crochets. Now the next three stitches we will do back post. So. They're a little bit more trickier, so I put my hook through, grab the, you know, go behind the back post there, yarn over, pull my loop back through, 
So now I have my three loops on. Then I do my double crochet. Yarn over. One of the things that makes it a little bit easier for the doing the back post is after I grab my loop, I actually pull my loop up so you can see that I'm pulling this loop up a little bit longer than these two. That way it's easier to manage. So that's my third back post. Now we're going to do three front posts. Then three back post. Then three front post. Then we have to do three back posts and then this is our last stitch that's going to be just a regular double crochet because it's a border. It's the edge. Okay, so now three back posts. And then this last chain, so I will go up to the third chain loop, and that's why I will insert my hook there. Now I will chain three and turn. So we have completed um, two rows, and we'll do one more row the same way, following this pattern. Then our fourth row will be where we begin to uh, make the change and you'll see the basket weave beginning. So, just so you can know where you are, these are front post and these are back post. So you can see how they look. Then front post, then back post, then front post, then back post. Okay, so let's begin. We're going to do three front post. Then three back post. Then three front post.
And in our last stitch, we will do the third chain. Um, we will do a double crochet in that one. Oops. Okay. So this is three rows. And we will proceed to chain three and start our fourth row. And our fourth row, we will do just the opposite. So where we did front post, we'll be doing back post. And where we did back post, we will be doing front post. And we will do that for three rows. So let's begin. One, two, three, and turn. So these, as you can see, are your front post. These are your back post. Then front post. Then back post. So we will proceed to do three back posts here. Now, next on these right here, we would do three front posts. Then three back posts. And three front post. And you can see the uh, basket weave beginning. Oops, I'm sorry for the camera adjustment. And three front post. And then this last one we will do... In today's fast-paced world, we have accepted stress and pain as necessary evils, but not anymore. Introducing the Art of Crochet Project. Healing mind, body, and spirit. An amazing program designed for all age groups that help them to manage stress and pain, sharpen your mental acuity, improve mood, focus and reinforce I-can-do-it attitude. You'll learn how to use the art of crochet as a healing tool to create viable solutions, alleviate suffering, and feel in sync with your mind, body, and spirit. Sign up for the course and start your journey to empowerment today. And we are forward here. So, as you can see, we've completed this first row of changing the stitches. So let's uh, chain three, turn, and we will just repeat the same pattern uh, for this row and the next row. So 
as you can see, these right here are three uh, back post, front post, back post, front post, back post, and front post. Then the three front posts here. Three back posts. So we've now completed two rows, and we have to do one more row, but you can clearly see the basket weave has, uh, pattern has actually begun to form. So let's chain three, and turn. Sometimes the yarn doesn't catch properly. Onto the crochet hook. So this will be our last row, and then we will change and do the opposite again for three rows. Yarn's gotten tangled up. <laughs> oh, sometimes this happens. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm on my second back post double crochet. So once you get the pattern started, it's pretty easy to uh, continue it. Even if you put it down, you can pretty much look at your pattern and see where you are and what you need to do next. Okay, so there we are, and it kind of wants to curl up, so you'll have to uh, stretch it. And uh, with this being acrylic yarn, I would lightly steam it, steam it to hold its shape. But this is your basket weave. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions, please feel free to put them in the comments, and I will do my best to answer your questions, and have a great day.